Hello everybody and welcome to Retail Tycoon. This is my store right here. I worked very hard on this yesterday. It took me around a hundred thousand and I'm still working on it. Um th this is all I plan to do is I'm gonna do a couple well not all I plan to do in my episodes, but I'm going to do a couple of these, a whole thing of these. Um, until I get my webcam, I'm not going to be doing any trolling videos, but as soon as I get my webcam, you can guarantee that I do some trolling videos, but right now, we're going to do some gameplay videos. Um, ma mainly a couple Roblox gameplay, gameplay videos, some tutorials, all that, uh, Minecraft gameplay, a couple other gameplays, but as of right now, we're going to do this one, and let me tell you, I worked hard on this. I spent around a hundred thousand doing this. It it took me a second, but let me go ahead and give everybody a rundown real quick. So over here you got your self checkout aisle. It helps me a lot. I don't have to pay for nobody to sit there and do that. I got one person over here. Cause a lot of people don't want to do self checkout. A lot of people will come over here. It saves a lot of time and you get a lot more money. I have a candy aisle with your layout. Honestly, with the layout, you want enough open space for people to walk, but you want there to be a lot of options for them. You want to have at least one of everything if you're doing a Walmart or a major retail and you want to make a lot of money. Um, but I'm not going to be doing just these these retails. This is so you got you got the display booths right here. This is where people walk down, they look, they see, oh, cool, you got this, you got that, that's awesome. You got some tablets, smartphones, bullshit like that. Then you got the food aisle. Food aisle, pretty self-explanatory. Then you got the gaming aisle. My gaming aisle sells out quick. So I do have to keep games and everything in. Because it does, it sells out quick. I got some people that restock here, so it's fine. You want to have a nice place for people to sit down at, though. Like, it, nobody really sits down at it, I don't think. But it's mainly for looks, a little decoration. The book aisle. You want to have a book aisle. Books sell out fast. And I, I don't even have everything bought in this game. You want to have a freezer aisle, clothing aisle. Um, I'm going to change this up because, you know, this is just a little tacky. You now there's clothes there. Food right there is just weird. And then here's the actual electronic aisle. Tablets, tablets, smartphones, and smartphones. Out everywhere. Then you got the toy aisle over here. Toy aisle. And then you got your soda aisle right here. There's some soda there. Soda there. Soda machines over here. And then you got the automotive section right there. Let's go take a look in the manager's area. Here is the main manager area. This is where all the supplies are kept. Right here in the back. I have it where they can walk and get to everything. They walk back there. They can get to those ones. Come right there. They can get to those ones. They can get to these ones like this. Get to these ones. They can access everything, no problem, with plenty of open space to do it. That is the beauty of this. And then you got your two managers. I don't really use the managers, so I'm probably going to get rid of them. I mean, I honestly think I only need one, because I only really use one. You only think, I think you only use one manager. I'm not for sure on that one. I'm still working on this game myself, but this is just a little tour. Um, this is just going to be episode one until I make a little bit more money. When I make a little bit more money, um, I will go ahead and destroy this and we will build an automotive section. Um, I wish I would have recorded building this and everything, but I, I really forgot. I just started building, didn't want to mess with my screen recorder or nothing. I just wanted to get this done so I can make more money. I spent around a hundred thousand building this. I threw all my cash into this. When I was done, I had around, I would say around 11,000 left. No, when I was done, I had around like 20,000, I think. Something like that. And then I went ahead and bought stuff. Bought a supply. You always want to make sure that you have things. Always. See, um, you don't want to always have too much of something like these car parts now. They don't sell that fast. Electronics, they don't sell that fast. Hats don't sell that fast. Clothing really don't either. Oh, it looks like I have it on. Yep. Yep. 
I guess my car parts are finally being restocked. I forgot that I did have it on like this, but I never auto do my electronics. It's pointless to auto do electronics. They don't sell that fast because they're expensive. Um, I don't need any more video games. Any of that. Or any of this stuff right here. There we go. Yeah, the soda doesn't need to be restocked. You just want to take a look and see what's low. And when you see what's low, that will help you decide on what is really um, selling properly. Let's go ahead and go into my manage. If I go over to my video games, I can see that my video game shelves are stocked most of the way. I like to keep them all the way stocked. So I'm going to go ahead since I honestly, I don't like having empty shelves. I really don't. I hate having empty shelves like partially full. I don't know. I just I just don't like the shelves having only like nine on there and then the rest empty. I want a full shelf all the time. I like to have full shelves. I really do. I love the full shelf. It, it I think if they're full, it helps you a lot more. I think people actually come and buy them, knowing that you keep everything pretty well stocked all the time. I mean, if you look here, this stuff, it's not even stocked all the way. Now, your stockers, they don't they don't really stock very well. <laughs> they don't keep the shit stocked 24-7, which fucking sucks, unless you have a bunch of them. But I'm not going to get a bunch of them, because that would be pretty fucking pointless. There ain't no reason to get a bunch of them. Yeah, it drains the shelf and then it fucking redoes it, but who gives a shit? As long as it fills them up, right? See, I think it's gonna fill it up, filled up, filled up, filled up. That yep, filled up, filled up, filled up. They're all filled up. That's awesome. Let's keep looking here. Let's go to our books. Yeah, see, not even our books are all the way stocked. I don't like that right there. I don't. I don't like having to keep coming in here and stocking books and everything. But if I would keep a, bu a bunch of them in supply, then it would help a lot more. But I don't. And as you can see, within just a couple minutes, I've already shot up six grand. I mean, this store setup makes you money. And it makes you a lot of money. I know people might be like, oh, but I don't have enough money to even start off like that. Well, I know you start off with five grand, and I will do an episode where I show how I started off. How I just started off, and let's go ahead and buy a hundred books. But I will show a video on how I just started off. I mean, Starting off was hard, but I also, I had Robux, so I bought a little bit of in-game cash, so whenever I start, I always will have that in-game cash. I mean, you have to do that, but I did, because it was easier with just a little bit of extra money, but I know it is possible, and yes, there is a shit ton of cheats out there for this game. No, I did not use any. I I don't recommend using cheats because if you keep using cheats and with all these people showing the cheats on here, they're just going to take them off. He's going to find it and he's just going to take it off. It's going to get patched. If you know about a cheat, don't talk about it. Don't share the cheat. I hate it that people do that because you don't think somebody's going to like come by that works for Roblox or help make this store, helps make this game come by and be like, uh. Oh, I just see a fucking cheat, and you don't think they're gonna try to patch it? I mean, come on. They they are going to try to patch it. They're not gonna just keep it going, you know? That's so stupid. This game is supposed to be another strategy tycoon game. It's one. Of, it's another good strategy ty tycoon game. Just like um, Lumber Tycoon, that's a good strategy tycoon game. I really do love games like this. I'm not even joking. I love, love, love games like this. It's just really fun. I mean, 
they're they're actually hard. You don't just you know boom in the next five minutes you got twenty thousand dollars and you just beat the whole game. No, nah, that's not how these games work. These ones right here they are actually difficult. They actually take some time. You got to get to know it. You got to do some skills. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna start off with several thousand dollars when I go to do my next episode. Um, cause I'm probably the next one is probably gonna be. I'm debating between an automotive or electronic, and that's where the skill set gets harder. Because you are not trying to sell everything. What you're doing is you're only selling a portion of stuff. You are only selling, let's say, the automotives, and then maybe a couple sodas, soda machines out in the front or something. That's where it gets hard, because you are only, you are only recognizing a certain crowd, and that's who wants to buy the automotive equipment. I mean, with this, you are recognizing everybody. You got the people that want to buy your uh, tablets, your smartphones. You got the people that are here to buy food. You got the people that want to buy soda, toys, etc. You got everything in the store. Now, with the automotive electronics, you are branching to the only people that want to buy electronics. Or with the video game stores, you're branching to only people that want to buy video game stores. You don't go to a video game store to buy an Apple. You just don't do that. So like I said your rating will go down when you do that it will go down a lot but I'm going to try to perfect it and make ways to where you can uh, have enough enough money and enough people coming in buying it I believe it will work and I know these guys are gonna sit here and be like they're glitching out right now but I know these guys are gonna sit here and be like ah this store is boring it got nothing it got not fuck them don't worry about that no one cares about what in-game people have to say but you're still gonna need a couple things but let's go ahead and check this stuff out that guy is still sitting there I don't don't know why it's weird but also if you want when you're doing an automotive store I, I see automotive stores all the time sell other stuff besides automotive besides automotive equipment they'll have a shelf of toys be like yeah buy yourself a toy they'll have a thing a magazine somewhere buy yourself a magazine you know have soda machines everywhere put little things like that in but you don't want it to be super huge you are there for mainly automotive you don't want it to be super huge you don't want to do none of that because then that takes away the purpose of it are you guys even using this thing? I don't think these guys are even using this thing but oh well I'm gonna leave it but there it is for this video I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up peace